Hello students. One-to-one -one function. How can I know that a function is one-to-one -one or not? We have an idea for finding one-to-one -one function graphically first. How can I know that this is a one-to-one -one function? By a horizontal line test. This is a test called horizontal line test. Horizontal line test. If we sketch many, many horizontal line on this graph, if it touches the graph two times, so at, uh, let's say, at least two times, so it will be a not one-to-one -one function. Let's sketch some uh, vertical line, a horizontal line, sorry. This is a horizontal line. Is it this line touches the graph? No, that's okay. Let's sketch another. Is it this blue line, horizontal line, touches the graph? Yes, in one point only. This is also okay. Till now we can say this is one to one function. But when we draw more graphs, horizontal lines, so we know that each line touches the graph in two points. So this is not a one-to-one -one function. This is, we can say, not one-to-one -one function. This is not one, we can write one, two, one, like this, one-to-one -one function. This is not one-to-one -one function, okay? Let's go to this one and we will use a horizontal line test. Sketch a line, it does one time, it's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. So this graph is a one-to-one -one function. Why? Because it touches the graph only in one point. Let's come to this one. We can say this is yes, it is one-to-one -one function. How about this one? Let's draw a horizontal line, it touches one time. It touches one time, and it touches one time. If you draw even here, it touches only one time to the graph. Look. So, those horizontal lines, we can say it touches one time. So, do you think that this is a one-to-one -one function? Let's complete the other. Let's draw some horizontal line. That's okay, this is touched only one time, but here it touches more than two times. So this is not one-to-one -one function, not one-to-one -one function. Okay, so let's say this is a multiple choice question and your teacher is bringing an example like this, A, B, C, D. Which of the following graph is a one-to-one -one function? You will say, teacher, I use it a horizontal line test, so I get two answers. One of them here and the other one here. Because I use it a horizontal line test and those two satisfy this rule of horizontal line test. They are touching only in one point. But be careful, guys. We need a vertical line test also. Why? Because here, if we draw a vertical line test in this one, it touches the graph two times. This is not function. So, if it is not function, how can I say one to one function? This is not a function, guys. Because the vertical line test we use to find which graph is a function or not. This is not a function, guys. So how can I talk about one-to-one -one function? So leave it, okay? Even the horizontal line are touches in a point, but this is not a function, guys. Okay, be careful, most of the teachers, they will bring a hard example like this, okay, if there is two answers and you will say there are two answers, but 
it's not be careful because first we have to know that is it a function or not and then we will talk about one-to-one -one function the other one is if we don't have the graph if you don't know the graph how can I know this is a one-to-one -one function let's check about this one let's say y is equal to x squared minus 5 give me a value for y which is of course in the domain should be uh, in the range sorry y is a range so uh, let's say minus 1 put minus 1 in the place of x in, in the place of y sorry if you get one answer for x this is one to one if you get two answers for x it will be not one to one let's complete x squared minus five is equal to minus one send this minus five to other side x squared is equal to minus one plus five so x squared is equal to four take square root take square root for both sides because we have the variable so it becomes absolute value of x or we can say two and minus two like this okay guys here two and minus two are two points two values so we gave one value to y but we get two value for x like this for example we have uh, for x uh, we have like like this one okay we can say for x we can for y let's say this is uh, four or uh, let's say this is wait a minute nine okay so we have two value for x look two value for x my three and minus three okay so graphically or uh, by the function you can find is it one to one or not so this one is not one to one okay now let's talk about a hard example guys for example if we have x to the power of 3 minus 5x plus 2 let's say this is square okay and let's say this is x okay guys uh, wait a minute let's say this is 4 guys pay attention on this question is it a one-to-one -one function or not let me give you an idea which is I can't explain it now because you didn't uh, take the maximum value and the minimum value okay if you know that x to the power of three, uh, three there are two shapes one of them is look like n like this exactly it's look like n and the other one is like this if the if the graph is like this it will be one-to-one -one function but if the graph is like this it is not a one-to-one -one function but you don't know how to graph this we need uh, the other chapter chapter four to know this so in chapter four we will learn that if we have minimum value this is called minimum value okay and if we have maximum value okay so uh, we will find by derivative let me explain this here we will find by derivative and after that we, we will find the critical value and if we have a minimum and maximum in the graph so you know that the shape is like exactly n shape okay so it will be not a uh, one-to-one -one function but if you do now look there is no max or minimum value so we can say this is uh, a one-to-one -one function guys so if you have a complicated uh, let's say very annoying uh, equation so don't say this is hard but you can wait for the other chapters I'm explaining this because maybe your teacher giving you an example like this guys so be careful to every question I hope you understand this guys please go to teachcode.com and study in your book okay 
each example you have to know in the book.